Hello guys and welcome to another video tutorial here on Shade Designs and today's tutorial is all about how to make an iPhone icon. Now if a lot of people, um, not a lot of people but about three people send me an email just requesting uh, to show them how to use guy, how to make an iPhone icon, they contact me through this section here of my website shadedesigns.com um, and uh, they just wanted to know how to create um, an iPhone icon using Photoshop of course um, and if you don't know what an iPhone icon looks like this is it. I'm sure you guys seen a, you know, you guys see it every single day um, if you have an iPhone, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make one. Uh, but particularly, I'm going to make the YouTube um, icon. Now that looks a bit disgusting. And uh, so you know, if I want to do my own version of the YouTube um, if icon, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on, of course, Adobe Photoshop. Now the um, so this is an example that I did. Um, if already if I did it for if a local um, if I did it for if a local uh, was a firm an accounting firm uh, because I already I did the logo for them um, and they wanted me because they were launching their icon so um, no no they were launching their the iPhone app uh, so yeah they wanted me to create them the icon so uh, so we're gonna get start into the tutorial of course so the document that we're gonna work with of course it's 600 by 600 and of course there's specific uh, for guidelines and specifications when making um, an iPhone uh, or an iOS uh, icon for Apple um, I'm not sure what's the exact size is but however this is the if ideal size and you can always reduce it down to the specific um, size that you want so press OK on that and just make sure that it's also transparent so when you're putting in a new file layer I mean new file document just make sure that this is selected to transparent because we don't want a black um, no, no, a white background um, vinyl icon the reason why I selected the transparent is because if we select the white one will be you know if after we complete our icon we'll be having a white um, was it for edges and was it a background that comes along with our icon and that's not something that we want okay so enough being said and uh, let's continue with the tutorial now of course we need to select and get a new layer of course because we can't for work on the background for layer although it's not locked and doesn't say uh, for background layer so the reason why we don't do anything in that layer is because if anything they create on this layer you can't for move or well not necessarily kind of move around but it's, be, it's gonna be, be like a bit hard for you to work on um, in terms of because like we need to be start using for masks and things like that uh, and we're gonna apply them onto this document so get up your your shapes tool so which is uh, in the tools file section if you don't have this um, you know, this little section open just click on to windows and it's uh, where is it uh, tools here we are and then that will that should be a pop up. Okay, so for under um, the shapes tool, just click onto the rounded rectangle tool, which is this one here. It has curves um, corners uh, compared to the straight sides on a normal for a rectangle. So click on that, um, and then just simply just uh, draw um, a rectangle. Now, of course, the radius of this document. Um, is set to five centimeters. So the radius of the curve here, as you can see, from this point to this point, is five centimeters. Okay, so that's the that's the ideal for radius that we'll be using for this document. And we want to place this into the center of the document. So as you can see, this part's too close and this part's a bit far. So we want to place this into the center of the document. So just press Control A or Command A. Um, click onto layer on the top menu and align for layers and then click onto vertical center so that moves it for up and down um, and the horizontal that moves it for left to right and that places it towards the middle of the document okay now from there onwards what we're going to do is we're going to apply a gradient um, on the actual um, from the from the icon okay so we're going to get a new layer Okay, paste that up and click onto your gradient tool. And if you can't find the gradient tool, it's most likely that it's that you have the paint for bucket um, for icon for opens. So right hand click and click onto the gradient tool. 
and then from here you'd be prompted with all these type of um, you know wonderful uh, ways to change your gradient colors and the sizes that you want and um, and all that. So we're gonna just click on to uh, this one here, which is um, uh, where is it? Where's the other one? I think it's yeah, that's it. It's foreground to transparent, and we're gonna change the color from red. We're gonna make it to white. Okay. So put that all to white. Okay, now just make sure uh, put that to be zero. Zero. Nope. Okay, so move that. We're gonna double click. Okay, we're gonna move that around there. Okay. So once you have your gradient, now you can use like whatever color you want, but I'm just using this as an example. I'm not sure look what's what's happened on here that's not getting the actual um, the gradient but actually we'll try to get this one so just go for the black and white one um, and of course as we said we're going to use um, we're going to create the YouTube uh, was for icon so just click onto the white one here and that's already if I select it twice but just make sure to select the opacity you can change the opacity by click on to this top opacity stop and just move that to about 40 yeah, forty percent. As you can see now, actually a bit lower than that. Yeah, a bit lower than that. Now, as you can see now, is we have a darker area here, a darker white area, and a faded area here. That's what we want. Press OK, and then just start from the left hand corner, and uh, just try to draw, or try to, yeah, just try to uh, to draw a gradient. Okay, so try to mm, let's be bright. Or go back all the way back and go. Yeah, yep, that's that's okay. And of course, um, we're going to use a YouTube for logo that I already created. Now, all these will be available for you guys, uh, even a folder that you can download from my website, shadedesigns.com. So just head on to the video tab and just click on to tutorial for materials. Okay, so once you get to this page, eventually you'll, be, you'll see um, the header that says if iPhone if icon, and you'll be able to download it for free. Um, of course, I don't charge also for people to download my content. I make it free for you guys to learn. Um, yeah, and um, okay, so once we have done the gradient, we're going to grab the um, the marquee tool, so right hand click, and we need an eclipse one. Okay, so we don't need the rectangle, we need the eclipse one. And from there on, we'll just try to draw an eclipse. Okay, so we want roughly we want it to be about there. Okay, and then right hand click on that, then click on to select inverse, and then press delete. So what that does is that it selects our um, it selects the part that we want to keep and it deletes the remaining the remaining for half that we don't want. I can as you can see here we have um, this uh, remaining part of the gradient. Okay, now to go for rid of that, we have to first convert our red oval shape into a smart object. Uh, by doing that, you just click onto right hand click on the actual file and click onto convert to smart object. Okay, so what that does is that it converts our document into a smart object. However, we can't uh, for copy or we can't do for anything to it. Just um, select all by pressing Control A or Command A, copy and then paste it again, or we'll paste it into another for document. Uh, I mean, not another for document, but a new for layer, and then delete the original one. Okay, now since the original is for delete, now we have the option of deleting some areas and so on and so forth, okay? So that's the reason why you have to convert it to a smart object, okay? And then from there, if you want to get rid of this uh, remaining part that we have from the gradient, what you do is you use your magic for wand, which is the fourth icon in the tools uh, for menu, and then just click onto the outside, which is here, just click onto the outside part, not the inside, one the outside part, and then click onto your gradient layer, which is the top one, and then press and then just press for delete. And as you can see, it deleted the part that we didn't for one. Okay, and now our icon looks nice and clean. 
Okay, so of course we're going to grab the YouTube for logo that I created earlier. So Control A and just copy it and then paste it into the layer that we just created. Okay, and of course we want to place this towards the center of the page. So just press select all and then go to layer and then align for layer, vertical center and go to horizontal. Oh, it's really in the center for us. Uh, screw it. it looks a bit. Yep. Okay, now we're going to place um, this logo for behind our gradient uh, effects. So we want to create a more, um, you know, we're going to create a, we want it to make it you know, look like as if it's, um, it's, it's below the actual for glass or gradient uh, for, for layer that we want to do. So just quickly, if I move that for below the layer. So go back to the gradient for layer, which is the top one now. Right hand click. Go to blending options, and then from there onwards, we wanted to create an outer. Oh, um, we're gonna create. Um, what are we gonna do? Actually, forget about that. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to play around with this, um, the top half of the YouTube for logo that we created, and we wanted to make it a bit darker, so it looks like that as if it's far behind. So it's a, it's a kind of a technique that you, that we use um, in Photoshop, and it gives it a bit of a um, exciting feeling. You know, once you look at the icon, it, it looks like you know as if it's a, an actual iPhone for icon. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our, our magic tool as we, as we did with earlier, and then just select the part. Then if I go to your YouTube for layer, so was first selected, and then um, and then just use your just click onto image adjustment, and then go to exposure, and we're going to decrease that part. Okay, we're going to. Uh, oh shit! Actually, um, okay. I just bear with me. No, nope. we did something a bit wrong here. Okay. It seems that our um, the gradient that we made wasn't long enough, so that's why, as you can see, if we select it, yeah, if we select it, it just cut off here. We want it to be uh, a bit lower than that, and if I try to reach all the way here, but that's okay, because if we zoom out, that looks like um, a decent for YouTube logo that we could use. Um, if, however, you can um, you know go be uh, for precise and start for tweaking for a little bit about it. But that is the basic form of a YouTube icon, of course using for Adobe Photoshop. And um, you can for download the file of this for Photoshop for document that I created, of course from the Shade Designs for website. As I said, under the video tab, under Tutorial for Materials. You'll be able to download it. And of course, don't forget to check out the Facebook fan page, which is facebook.com forward slash shade designs, and you'll be able to get all the um all the info, uh with all the videos that I made, with all the work that I also if I create will be for posted onto it. And also if you need help or anything like that, you could also post um your messages on the wall and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. So until then, take care and peace.